Lane bias is a hidden bottleneck that halves your throughput and creates idle machines upstream, starving machines downstream, plus it could be a rotting disaster in Factorio's space age, causing massive spoilage on Gleba. Look at this belt. One side is moving, the other side is stopped. This is lane bias, and it's silently killing your throughput. But why does this happen? Lane bias happens when your main bus, machines, or inserters consistently favor one side of the belt. This creates a backed up lane that never moves while the other lane does all the work. But why is this bad, I hear you say? It will move when the items are needed down the line, right? Wrong. And here are three reasons why. Problem number one is reduced throughput. A belt with one lane stopped effectively has the speed of a lower tier belt. You paid for a green belt, but you're getting the red belt speeds, because one side is sleeping. Problem number two is upstream idling. Fancy words, what does it mean? If one of the lanes is backed up, the furnaces or mines feeding that lane will go to sleep, leaving half your smelting array idle while you still need resources further down the bus. This means you have the bandwidth, but the pathway is clogged up. And finally, problem number three for space age engineers, spoilage and in the wrong places. On Gleba, Gleba, items sitting on a biased stationary lane will rot before they ever reach the processing machine. So what's the solution? The solution is a gadget called a lane balancer. Pay close attention, that is called a lane balancer, because belt balancers do not balance lanes. But does that mean I have to balance every single lane on all belts? No, that would be madness. But consider using it for train unloading, mining outposts, and main bus injections. Oh right, so how to create a lane balancer, which by the way comes in different flavors. For that, please subscribe and watch my next nugget.